Hey brothers and sisters, this is a prophecy report entitled, A New Phase of Accelerated Decline. What is your opinion of America today? Have you said or heard anyone say, the America I'm living in today is not the America I grew up in? Have you said or heard anyone say, I believe America is headed in the wrong direction? What is your opinion of the global situation today? Have you said or heard anyone say, the world is in a mess? Have you said or heard anyone say the UN has done a wonderful job of solving the world's problems for more than 70 years? Come to think of it, the UN has done little, if anything, to solve the world's problems. I'm aware that on October 30th, 2008, Barack Obama said, quote, we are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. And it seems to me that America is going through a fundamental transformation, a spiritual, moral, and economic downward spiral. I'm aware that in late September of 2015, the UN passed a document called Transforming Our World, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, and UN Secretary called it the start of a new era. Considering that the fundamental transformation of America and the world was revealed before many of these changes started coming on the scene, it seems like the changes must be part of a plan. Having said this, it is a little disturbing to know that the UN Secretary General Gutierrez thinks the fundamental transformation of the world needs to be speeded up. It is even more disturbing to know that the world leaders agreed with him on September 18th through the 19th of this year, and they voted to do everything they can to complete the transformation of the world by 2030 or sooner. They are calling the next seven years a new phase of accelerated progress. Have you got that? They called the September 2015 vote the start of a new era, and now they are calling the September 18th through the 19th vote a new phase of accelerated progress. Pardon me for being a skeptic, and I hope I'm wrong, but I tend to believe that the next seven years will turn out to be a new phase of accelerated decline, not accelerated progress. Here are some recent articles that made the news this week. On September 29th, WorldNet Daily posted a commentary by well-known author Craig McMillan that I believe is right on target and full of hope. According to McMillan, the real problem for the globalists rolling out a new world war to bring forth their one world government out of the ashes is that they are battling the original creator of the heavens and the earth for control of his creation. If you doubt the outcome of the globalist war against the creator, go through the Bible and count the number of battles God has lost. Arrogance before one's creator has only one possible outcome. The globalist will not be left in control of anything. The entire system that Satan has built for humanity is coming down. Concerning the coming global economic collapse, on September 30th, the highly respected credit rating agency called Moody's is warning that a government shutdown on October 1st could have dire consequences for the economy and stock markets. I am not an economic expert. But as I understand the situation, conservative Republicans blame America's runaway national debt on excessive government spending, and many Democrats do not want to rein it in. Conservative Republicans want the U.S.-Mexico border closed, and many Democrats do not want it closed. America is a divided nation, and a nation divided against itself cannot stand. America may be about to move into a new phase of accelerated decline. On September 30th, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy caved 
abandoned most of the major spending cuts conservative Republicans wanted, joined the Democrats and agreed to a 45-day temporary funding bill to keep the government operating until November 16th. It is a crisis delayed, not a crisis solved. And the division in America continues. On September 18th through the 23rd, the UN General Assembly met in New York and the U.S. greatly criticized Israel for settlement construction on the West Bank and refusing to divide the Promised Land. A record-breaking storm developed off the East Coast and dumped more than 8 inches of rain on parts of New York. New York Governor declared a state of emergency. Flights were canceled, homes, streets, and subways were flooded, and many people were stranded. Concerning world government and the decline of America, on September 29th, it was reported that the World Economic Forum has taken control of several old U.S. military bases in Panama and is using them to assemble illegal immigrants for transport across the U.S. border with Mexico. A picture was posted of the WEF flag flying over an old U.S. military base near the Panama Canal called Fort Clayton. U.S. citizens paid to build the base. The U.S. flag has been taken down. The WEF flag is flying there and the base is being used to send hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants across Biden's open border. The decline of America is being deliberately orchestrated to bring our nation into a one world government. If this is not true, how is it that the WEF is sending thousands of illegal immigrants across our border without government knowledge and permission? Concerning the deliberate destruction, of America's Judeo-Christian values. On October 2nd, it was reported that California Governor Newsom has appointed someone to replace the recently deceased Dianne Feinstein in the U.S. Senate. Her name is Butler. Butler will be the first openly gay female senator in the history of California. Concerning a normalization agreement between Israel and Saudi Arabia on October 2nd is reported that the Israeli and Saudi officials believe the Biden administration is hampering the deal. Israeli and Saudi officials believe they are close to a deal, but the Biden administration continues to push for more concessions, more money for the PA, an independent U.S. consulate to serve the PA in Jerusalem, and to the Palestinians that could cause everything to fall apart. Biden just cannot stop telling Israel how to run the country. Following the rapture of the church, but during the tribulation period, a one world religious system will exist that Jesus identified as mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and abominations of the earth. Revelation 17 verse 5. The head of this harlot system, the scripture presents the true church as a good woman the bride of Christ and the false religious system as a bad woman, the mother of harlots, to support a government approved antichrist religion. There are differences of opinion about the identity of the harlots, but I believe they are lost church members Catholics, Baptists, Methodists, Presbyterians, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, etc., that will be left behind after the rapture and unite other religions. Muslims, Hindus, and Buddhists, and a godless world religion. Having said this, on October 3rd, LifeSite News staff posted a statement by Roman Catholic Archbishop Vagano that says or suggests Pope Francis hid his intentions from those that elected him and used his authority to undermine the church and make it the handmaid of the new world order. The throne of Peter, the chair of Peter, who, according to Catholics, was the first pope of the church, is occupied by a person who abuses his power, uses it for the opposite purpose to that for which our Lord instituted it. Francis does and says things that are foreign to what is expected of a pope. In his ten years of papal service, Francis has done things that one would expect 
an apostate to do, but not what one would expect a pope to do. His support for the globalist elite and his opposition and persecution of those who oppose these things show that he is a heretic and blatantly hostile to the church. Some prophecy teachers think Pope Francis might be the false prophet. I wonder about that because of his age and health. I do not see him hanging around for another seven years or more. Finally, are you rapture ready?